welcome to kp classes i am here with a good news that we will be starting a new crash course for the net cscr june 2024 examination so we know that it's only maximum one two months are there uh, and we have to cover the entire net cscr syllabus or do we need to so that's what we going to discuss over here so when it comes to this video uh, we will be discussing these three questions what are the important subjects in net cscr earth science paper uh, how to prepare for the net CSCR in uh, last in two months and what KP classes net CSCR crash course will be having. So let's see uh, what are the important subjects and how to prepare the entire CSCR net uh, uh, science in two months and about the crash course of ours. Now when it comes to the net CSCR paper we know there are five different domains geology, geophysics, uh, oceanography, atmospheric science and planetary science. These five different domains are important and from all these five domains there will be questions asking in the net CSIR paper. Now uh, while uh, analyzing, while analyzing the last uh, few years paper it is very clear that the, not the entire syllabus or syllabus from these five subjects are necessary. If we concentrate on certain important topics, for example from geology, uh, you, you have to concentrate on geomorphology than any other subjects of, of uh, geology, right? When it comes to geophysics, we have to concentrate on the seismic, uh, seismic uh, survey part uh, than any other topics of geophysics, etc. So in this way, if you concentrate on certain topics, we will be able to qualify net JRF. Yes, we just need to qualify net JRF paper. We don't need to get a uh, complete out 200 out of 200 mark, right? We just need maximum for an open category, uh, 65 percentage is maximum as a cutoff. Uh, and unless you don't have a rank below 7, yeah, 10, like it, it is, won't be that uh, good for the scholarship. And we can prepare better for getting a good rank for getting into good good institutes but uh, all, all, all overall uh, overall we just need a 65 percentage as cutoff and for that 65 percentage you don't require you don't need to study the whole geology syllabus or you don't need to complete the whole oceanography atmospheric science geophysics and planetary science paper and it's not possible for a geology student to complete oceanography syllabus or to complete atmospheric syllabus so what we have to do we have to concentrate on those important topics only or by analyzing the previous year question paper you will understand which are the topics from which they repeatedly ask question there is a certain pattern like that for net exam so we over here will be following that certain pattern and through that you will be able to qualify the net CSAR examination of June 2024. Now when it comes to the important subjects that to be covered, the major one coming under geology is as I have mentioned geomorphology. Any year uh, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, any year net paper you take, whether it is June, year December net exam paper, you will be able to see that the number of questions from geomorphology is way higher than the total number of questions from geo, uh, geophysics or oceanography, atmospheric, atmospheric science, important topics will are important. But when you look into geomorphology, the total number of questions are way higher than any other subject actually or any other topic. So this single topic weightage is way higher. And it's not very easy, it's not basic geomorphology, we required a detailed analysis part of geomorphology. You have to know in, de in depth fluvial geomorphology, especially fluvial, aeolian and glacial geomorphology in detail is required and connecting with the oceanography, coastal geomorphology is also detail, uh, in detail is required. So geomorphology is a must topic. Next important one is geotectonics. We know geotectonics uh, for other competitive exams for gate or for uh, G even GSI maximum two questions from geotectonics will come in UPSC geoscientist examination. Uh, when it comes to gate maximum three questions can come from geotectonics there can be numericals too. Whereas over here in net examination geotectonics is also a good or a very important topic from which 
modern day plate bomb plate tectonic examples modern day plate tectonic activities everything is very important and lot of questions will be coming from this single topic so geomorphology geotectonics next important topic from uh, geology is remote sensing remote sensing portion remote sensing uh, you should have an idea about the albedo or the reflective reflective reflectivity from uh, different different particles of earth uh, what is the reflectivity of certain elements or sorry certain minerals or what are the reflectivity of certain rocks or uh, what is atmospheric window these kind of basic topics of remote sensing is very important for net examination remote sensing is not at all a good important subject or it's not required in the gsi prelims paper it is there in the gate paper but not as important uh, as remote sensing in net csir okay now next important topic is obviously paleontology and stratigraphy they are also very important paleontology and stratigraphy paleo they will combine it with oceanography marine life part and they will ask question or sometimes they will uh, include paleontology with sequence stratigraphy and they will ask question from foraminifera and the sequence stratigraphy related for bathymetric analysis related question uh, paleontology foraminifera and <coughs> geochemistry part stable isotope portion also can be asked then these are the major one other than these four there comes the next next important topics such as sedimentology uh, metamorphic petrology structural geology these are also important metamorphic petrology structural geology uh, engineering geology engineering geology and structural geology mainly the stress strain related questions are very common over here more circle or the different uh, classification of fault uh, terminologies are very common over here and also or or geology okay so these are also important we won't be able to miss them but when you compare with the other other subjects uh, these are the most important topic mineralogy crystallography is also important but maximum one or two questions can be asked so this is from the weightage have analyzed entire geology so what we have to do is if we have to concentrate on these important topics these important topics and when it comes to geophysics we'll be concentrating on magnetic survey gravity survey and seismic survey in detail we'll be doing and uh, basic equations Geo geophysics is actually a numerical based question set in net examination that's where the numerical questions will be asked uh, same goes with uh, geochemistry also okay i forgot to mention that geochemistry is also there and geochemistry actually they will include with paleontology or oceanography section uh, mainly stable isotope oxygen isotope and its uh, applications are what required okay <clears throat> so these are the important topics from geology and when it comes to geophysics as mentioned oceanography and uh, uh, climatology what you have to do is go through the previous year questions and understand from where they repeatedly ask questions for example rossby wave is a very common question every year there will be a question from rossby wave uh, the it's the el nino is a very important topic uh, the surface ocean currents are very important <coughs> the entire geography of uh, the oceanic part uh, like different oceans and what are the associated warm currents and cold currents which are uh, what is coriolis effect coriolis effect is very important every year minimum five questions will be coming related to coriolis force and oceanography section so anyway this entire part subject topics are what we need to cover and why do i say you, you just need to solve these important topics only because we know there are three sections part a part b and part c and in all these three sections we do have options plus we don't require to solve the entire the entire questions 
so what we do even after like 15 questions are the maximum attempt if you solve 10 if you have 10 positive answers or 10 correct answers that will be giving 20 20 mark from that single section so we required 60 65 percentage of 200 mark right for an open category so you there are other videos we have made you can go analyze do the check the last year cutoff uh, the uh, minimum how much you have to score to get qualified and the details have been given in all our uh, a previous video related to next CSCR examination I'll give the uh, link in the description box that's that video is very useful so I'm not going to repeat the things that I've mentioned it over there so <clears throat> there in that video I have precisely mentioned that based on your category and how much questions you should solve from part A, part B and part C. So if and that also, there are few people who are confident in part C, there are few, few people who are confident in part B. So those who are confident in part C, we can concentrate more on that. If you are confident on part B, concentrate on part B. Okay, so in if you simply follow these important topics and just uh, understand and learn thoroughly these subjects, it is simply that much is only required for qualifying the net JRF paper. Now moving on to the next question, how to prepare for net CSCR in 2 months? I have already given you the answer, right, we have 2 months maximum. So if they conduct the exam on June 1st week, maximum we may have 45 to 50 days. Okay, so in this 45, yeah, 50, 55 days, what can we do? So first important thing is previous year question solution and that also subject wise previous year question solution is important we can solve previous year question you should solve subject wise pyqs and then yearly pyqs so this subject wise pyq will help you to understand which are the important topics for example if you solve for oceanography subject wise previous year question you will understand which part of oceanography is important or which is which section is repeatedly asked okay so in the same way if you do a yearly like or a june paper a complete set of question paper you will sit and solve it you will understand you will be able to analyze yourself so if you are sitting with 2023 june uh, net paper <coughs> and sit there for three hours and just use a calcul calculator uh, uh, without having any on don't, uh, online Google search any answers just go through the question and give the answer later after three hours go through the answers and check how positive and negative answers uh, positive and negative marking should be done at last you want you will be able to understand what where do you exactly make the mistake this analyzation is very important when you solve a question paper in this way it will help you to understand what are the mistakes that you make in a competitive exam whether you are an overconfident candidate or your your confidence is not enough you knew this was an answer but you could not make it because you were doubtful about yourself or if you are too much overconfident that you gave too many negative answers so these analy analyzations should be made by yourself then only i won't be able to make you understand what your correction uh, what your corrections required right so for that we you have to solve previous year questions and understand so this pyq is very important then after pyq next important part is attending mock test so this mock test again will give you how much well prepared you are in the competitive exams once you are completed with the pyq series go through the mock test you can have mock test of we will be also providing mock test along with our crash course PYQ subject wise, topic wise, PYQs are provided in our study material also. So you can also get that and then revision. A revision revision of those which are important. Those important topics should be revised thoroughly so that you will be able to uh, you will not forget the topics for example paleontology yes stratigraphy sequence stratigraphy geochemistry or in economics uh, these topics you have to re revise thoroughly so that you will not forget about them okay now next one about 
the crash course that we provide over here. So when it comes to our crash course, next CSER Earth Sciences paper, we offer both offline and online live classes. Along with that, recorded lectures of topics will also be covered. And we know it's not possible to complete the entire topic in within two months. So what we go, what we are going to do is, we'll be providing you uh, offline or online live classes of those subjects which are very much important for next CSIR examination. For example, oceanography, atmospheric science portion. Uh, <coughs> Geomorphology and the sedimentology subjects will be provided as a recorded lecture, metamorphic petrology, geochemistry, geo, uh, geotectonics, etc. These topics will be provided as a live section or live uh, offline or online classes. Along with that, other important topics that I have mentioned geomorphology, sedimentology, <coughs> structural geology, these subjects will be given as. Uh, uh, on live, sorry, recorded lecture. So, if you have any doubts from there, you will be conducting doubt sections for those. So, we will be having interactive doubt classes, whatever your issues are, we can interact with it or we can solve it out. Then, when it comes to the mock test, we have a complete set of uh, three to four sets of, uh, more than that, sets of net CSR earth science uh, mock test are there. Solving mock test is one of the important part in the last few, two months preparation so for that we will be providing you mock test and along with that our online study materials will also be given and in that online study materials subject wise previous year questions are also given so you can just go through those subjects uh, those previous year questions in the study material which is more than enough for you to so you don't need to go gather subject wise you don't need to uh, <coughs> take every year questions or find out geomorphology questions you don't need to do that we have already uh, online study materials which with updated previous year questions solutions and answers now <coughs> when it comes to more questions more so, so solution or more uh, questions you go through more confident you will be or more thoroughly precisely you will be able to give correct answers so that we are providing test series also where more than 2000 plus questions are there of all the geology oceanography climatology geophysics planetary science questions which you can uh, solve and uh, solutions explanations and answers are provided along with the questions too here doubt classes will be also conducted parallelly with the classes for especially for the recorded lecture that we provide if you have any doubts like regarding the offline online classes live sections that you can ask in the uh, class itself or else if we can if you require we can conduct a separate doubt section for the subjects you require and at last the previous year question solution we will be solving previous year question questions in the class uh, based on the topics that we cover. So these are the things that we are going to give in our crash course. So don't forget if you want to uh, qualify JRF uh, in, by giving uh, June 2024 Earth Science paper, simply join us in our crash course. You can uh, call us in this number, you can WhatsApp us, you can follow us in our Instagram, YouTube or Telegram channels to get more idea about geology or more insightful details regarding geology different topics we, we cover over here we share uh, different knowledge free materials are also provided to the students through our uh, media such as instagram youtube and telegram so you can call us in this number for getting the details regarding the crash course this is our website you can or simply search kpg classes in internet you will get the website and you will be able to understand we will be able to give you more details regarding the crash course we, you can simply download kp classes application from app store or uh, play store uh, from both ios user or uh, android user can download it from your from, from the app store and uh, search for the net crash course which will be provided over there and whatever you require you can contact us and we'll be giving you the details and if you require an extra topic we will add that also in the recorded lecture so i hope you are you understood completely what our 
crash course is giving and how to go how to plan a next csr examination for within two months if you plan you will be able to qualify i'm 100 percent sure if you give your if you give your complete effort in this two months and if you are with us if you are with us and by following our whatever we are explaining or by studying the materials that we provide you will be able to qualify jrf within this two month preparation so don't wait don't hesitate just call us in the number given over here you will be able to get, get a more details regarding this course and let's all qualify jrf uh, in this paper itself june 2024 itself thank you thank you so much